One of the things that I always wanted was to be able to watch YouTube from terminal without launching a browser. And of course, modern machines, they do not have such a such an issue. Play a YouTube video, they can even easily play 4K. On OpenBSD, playing 4K can be a bit questionable, but that's besides the point. My current production machine, ThinkPad T480 is pretty much capable of running a YouTube video, but under load it starts to do a lot of drop frames and becomes a bit problematic. So it, it would have been nice if I had an alternative that besides browser right because in the when when i use for example mpv it uses less resources as it offloads most of this stuff to the gpu over the years on and off i was trying to sort of like find an alternative or something that resonates with me well and i tried quite a lot of projects programs and to be honest some of them really didn't work on openbsd it was quite a bit of the work to make them functioning well uh, some they were using some other backend rather than YouTube and if it didn't contain all the videos that I wanted so on and so forth things just didn't happen so to speak until very recently after I set up my ThinkPad X61 again the thought came to my mind and I said wouldn't it be nice if I really find a program that I can even play YouTube videos on the ThinkPad X61 which is very old hardware and is not capable of playing YouTube even at the very lower resolution within the browser. So I did a bit more research again for the last time, hopefully, and I come across this awesome program called uh, YTX is an inspiration by another project called Magic Tape. I, to be honest, I didn't know about none of them. Otherwise, I would have tried it much earlier and would have been happier. So I said, hey, let me try to set it up first on the FreeBSD machine and then on the OpenBSD machine. And I did it, took a while, and then I saw that, okay, a bunch of other bunch of things are missing, this and that, until I today I managed to finally make it work on both machines and here I'm about to demo it for you on both OpenBSD and later on on the FreeBSD. So the project is, since it's written all in Bash, is very portable. It's just pure Bash. The only dependency is Bash plus a bunch of the other stuff to run the application itself like FCF, YTDLP, etc, etc. And it's listed in the dependencies here. All the dependencies are available on both uh, OpenBSD and FreeBSD at least the base or the required dependencies for example gum i didn't find it on pmbsd rufi i'm using it but i'm not thinking even about the switching to the different gui chaffa is also there to show the image thumbnails but within the bash script itself it uses like set tag as well as a grip in the GNU format which these stuff are not really easy to port it to the bsc systems so the alternative is to install just those stuff and then do some sort of alias and a bunch of other stuff to make it work. To make everything easy for an end user to be able to just use this application, what I did was to create a wrapper on top of it. And here I introduce you to the YTX BSD wrapper. So I created this project on my own personal GitHub, not on the OpenBSD one. The project is super simple. First of all, it has the instruction on what you need to exactly install on either FreeBSD or OpenBSD. So these are all the dependencies that you need to install and afterwards you just need to copy this guy and then that's it and then you are good to go. So let me demo you. So I'm going to delete my own stuff first and so this is now removed and so now if I type for example YouTube it errors that there's no such a file or directory. And now I am going to actually do the installation. It's just gonna take a few seconds. And then it's done. So then we are ready to launch it. And isn't it beautiful? It's not my work, but I really love this project. I really, really love this project. And for example, I can edit the configurations to support a bunch of other stuff here. For example, the video quality. I couldn't get this one work. 
I had to actually change the video quality in the MPV itself. And there is also this uh, image preview. This is the one that I really like. So I, I enable the image preview plus the image rendering and I pass here Chaffa. So you can customize it any way that you wish. It's up to you. For example, here we can switch it to the roofy also. And now it actually sort of like launches in the GUI, which is something I really don't like. I prefer the terminal way. FCF is fantastic for such a function. So let me demo you. Uh, for example, I want to search for something. I can even disable or enable the history, whatever that I want. And even I can pull the history. So here you can see, I want to play. I want to search for this one. So I put one. And now here I can, for example, open one of the videos related to the this one was by root bsc i think so let's try to play it i'm going to actually reduce the volume a bit and now we can see actually it's playing the video right when they began to hit the news and you can also even do other stuff to it i'm not going to name it exactly here because youtube has this policy of giving the content a strike to people that they are showing something related to their platforms that they don't really approve of. So this is for the OpenBSD demo. Let me switch the screen and I will show you the FreeBSD demo as well. So now I am at my FreeBSD machine and if I do NeoFish, you see that is a FreeBSD running on the X61 and let me launch the program. So from here, I am going to search for the OpenBSD ASLR, for instance. And note that here I didn't enable the video thumbnails. So it's just like purely FCF, no chaffa here. And now I'm going to play a video. It is going to take a while because first of all, the hardware is slower. And secondly, the GPU acceleration is not enabled on this machine. I tried to get it work, I failed. And now you see that there is a bunch of errors here in between. But nonetheless, you see that it's showing and there's not much of a drop frame. However, I had to reduce the screen resolution to the four, the video quality, sorry, to the 480p. And that I achieved actually by configuring the MPV. So if I go to the MPV here and I open my config, you will see that uh, the video quality is reduced to 480. I disabled the hardware decoding with the hope of getting less errors in the logs, but it didn't help. And the sort of like the GPU decoding is something that I'm working on and see whether I can make it work. Otherwise like this, uh, it is at least fine for me. And note that now that I'm recording, it was very bad quality, but in the actual laptop display, it is fine because the screen resolution on the laptop display is low, is 1024 by 768. So playing 480 is fine. I think if I had the GPU driver up and running, I could have technically played 720p, but without that, uh, max is like 480. So that's all for this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Have a great time. Cheers.